How do you solve word problems by using inequalities? For example, you are trying to decide what cell phone plan to choose. Plan X charges $30 a month plus two cents for every text message. Plan Y charges $50 a month for unlimited text messages. How many text messages do you need to send in order for the second plan to be cheaper? In this lesson, you will learn how to solve word problems by using inequalities. A common mistake for this lesson is writing down the inequality wrong from the word problem. So we need to remember that that is the less than sign and that is the greater than sign. First, let's review how to solve an inequality. If we have an inequality like this, our first step needs to be to get rid of the parentheses. So we need to distribute that 2 into the x plus 1. Now that we have this, we need to put all of our variables on one side and our numbers on the other. So what we're going to do first is add 5 to both sides because negative 5 and positive 5 are additive inverses of each other. Then we will be left with 3x is greater than 2x plus 7. Now we need to subtract 2x because it's the additive inverse of positive 2x, and then we will be left with x is greater than 7. Now we can check our work here by picking a number, let's say 9, that satisfies our answer inequality. 9 is greater than 7. Then we can substitute it into our original inequality to see if it also is true. 3 times 9 minus 5 is greater than 2 times the quantity 9 plus 1. So we know that our answer is correct here. You are going on a field trip and need to choose where to go. The zoo costs a $100 fee plus $10 per student. The museum costs a $250 fee plus $5 per student. How many students need to go on the trip in order for the museum to be a better deal? So in this word problem, we need to pull out our pertinent information. We need, we need to know the costs. And we want to set up an inequality so that the museum cost is less than the zoo cost. So first we need to write an expression for the museum cost. The museum cost is $250 plus $5 per student. That $250 is a flat fee. You pay it once. So there's no variable attached to it. And then the $5 is per student. So that needs to be multiplied by your variable. Let's use S here for students. And then the zoo cost is $100 plus $10 per student. So 100 plus 10S. Now we need to solve that inequality. So what we need to do is put our numbers on one side and our s's on the other side. I said here to put our numbers on the left and our s's on the right because there's more s's on the right hand side. Again, you can choose either side you want. So first what we're going to do is subtract 5s from both sides because positive 5s and negative 5s are additive inverses of each other. Then we have 250 is less than 100 plus 5s. We need to subtract 100 from both sides. Then we will be left with 150 is less than 5s. Now in order to get s by itself, we need to multiply both sides by 1 fifth because 1 fifth is the multiplicative inverse of 5. When we do that, we get that 30 is less than s. So that means that we need to have um, at least or more than 30 students go on this trip because students or s needs to be larger than 30. So let's check our answer here. 50 is equal to s because that's a number that is bigger than 30. Then let's check it in our original inequality. 250 plus 5 times 50 is less than 100 plus 10 times 50. That is a true inequality, so we know that that is our correct answer there. And it makes sense in our word problem. It makes sense that there needs to be more than 30 students to go on the trip to make the museum a better deal. It is very logical. In this lesson, you have learned how to solve word problems by solving inequalities.